Hi guys, it's Jay from J and DJ Time and Journey. Just wanted to say thanks for watching and please hit that subscribe button and that like button. Thanks so much. Hi guys, it's Jay from J and D's Retirement Journey. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm gonna talk about AdV Incorporated and why I started uh, accumulating more. My goal is basically to take it around to 200 shares and, and make at least a thousand bucks in dividends yearly. Um, we're planning on retiring in maybe three to five years and we want to have at least $20,000 in dividends by then. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, Advi, the company, basically. And their mission is to discover and deliver innovative medicines and products that solve serious health issues and enhance people's lives today and address the medical challenges of tomorrow. That's right off their website. Uh, their main, I guess, uh, concentrations on on pharmaceuticals, they, they're in the immunology, oncology, neuroscience, eye care, virology, and aesthetics. They, they're a dividend aristocrat. They've been raising the dividends for over 25 years, and you know how much I like di dividends. I love them. That's what this is all about. In uh, 2013, their yearly dividend was $1.60. Ten years later, their dividend is $5.64. As for the growth of Advi, it's been doing pretty well. Um, I use Schwab, and as you can see, um, it's up almost $65 in five years, 66%. In three years, it's up uh, $73 and 82%. One year, it's up uh, $31 and uh, almost 24%. Year to date, it's up uh, $27, 20%. Last six months, almost 24, 17%. $19 uh, the last three months, 13%. Last month, um, $12, 8%. And the last five days, the stock market has been pretty much going down. So uh, it's been tanking, but considering the stock market this year has been down pretty much the whole year, is great. This has been going up, plus you get that nice dividend. The company's been doing pretty well this year. Uh, the last three quarters they beat. Um, the stock's been doing great this year. So as you can see, it's doing well. They have a lot of drugs in the pipeline. Um, I went into their website. You could do this research yourself. Um, I'm not a financial advisor, quick disclosure here. So this is right for me and my wife. It might not be right for you guys, this company. So talk with a financial advisor and do your research before you invest. Um, they have 84 drugs in the pipeline. 15 have been approved and four are waiting approval. So they got a lot of stuff coming to keep these earnings going. As we go into the dividends, um, you could see uh, they raise a dividend. And right now the dividend stands at $1.48. That's a 3.63 percentage and five ninety two for the year. The stock uh, 52 week. Uh, low was 122 and the high was 170, almost 176. Market cap on this company is uh, 288 billion and 68% of the shares are, are held by institutions. The analysts following this company have four buy ratings, 11 outperforms, one, 11 holes, one underperform, no sells. Uh, Reuters research has an outperform on this. Um, Argus has a price target of $165. S&P Global has a hold and a target of 151, which is not good. Uh, that's where the analysts stand on this company. And again, do all your research. Uh, before you invest and good luck. Thanks for listening.